So this is the Richmond Lockrite, and it, um, it is an automatic locker that installs inside your, uh, your standard factory differential without having to replace the carrier, so you don't have to reset uh, the ring and pinion up. It makes for a very quick installation. Um, the way it works, some people have talked about all sorts of things they've heard about how these things work and just so that everybody can see uh, how they they really do work uh, I'm going to show you right now so this pin is the cross pin from the carrier of the differential so the uh, the ring attaches to the carrier and would spin this this way the engine would be turning it like so okay um, and then this would be here in the middle in your differential and you have your axles on the left and right that go out to your tires. So in a normal differential this spins some gears, some spider gears that in turn turn your axle and uh, if one tire loses traction you uh, spin that one tire and the other tire stays still for off-road purposes and some racing purposes this isn't so good because you're basically wasting the traction that other tire may have so anyway the way this works remember we said that that pin spins and this you'll see fits in to the to the pin to the cross pin and then this you can see this here would attach to the would slide into the splines that are on the axle the little grooves okay that would come out to the left and right I'm going to show you half of it and then as you can see they fit together here and they spin with the pin okay there's no there's no gears like you have currently in your differential carrier uh, inside the carrier so this whole thing is turning like this in one locked unit so one wheel losing traction that makes no difference now of course the problem is when you want to turn you've got to be able to have one wheel turn faster than the other because the outside wheel on a turn turns faster than the inside wheel. So what do we do? Well you'll notice there's these two little washers. There's some other springs and whatnot that um, make this possible but we're we're going to only look at half of this now because I only have two hands. And um, this washer provides a little bit of spacing. Now, when with that spacing, you'll see if it doesn't allow us to completely close this. So the way this works is there's a little bit of wiggle room here. So if I lock this in, you'll see that there is a little bit of play there. Okay. Now, what does that mean? That means that when this pin is centered here like so that little play means that this can rotate so the springs can compress the springs that go in here and push against the other side okay they can slide back toward the pin just enough to allow one ratchet movement and you'll notice the teeth are slightly beveled this teeth are slightly beveled so that they will overrun each other if they have to, if there's enough pressure. Okay, and so what happens is this can't really move. This is jammed against the side of the carrier, but the springs that push against the other half of this, okay, the springs that would push against the other half of this would allow it to compress and advance one or more motions. So without these without this spacer this uh this washer this whole system won't work um now what keeps it from slipping like this all the time why wouldn't it just constantly be doing that well if you look carefully the way this is made okay it's not a perfect half circle okay you'll notice that there's a little bit of a bevel there okay so what this basically means is that when this turns 
okay, it's putting some pressure because this is sliding. So it forces this outward like so, okay? I'm exaggerating it. It's obviously much more subtle. But when this pin turns and provides pressure on here because the engine is pushing it, okay, it forces this outward and basically puts pressure on this part okay so it will take up the it will, will remove the ability for it to slide back toward the pin and compress the springs okay so that that pressure there is what forces it out and then locks it all right and there is no way it can overrun now okay so what happens in a turn well in a turn obviously you've got two halves of this the inside tire okay is constantly applying pressure here so this inside tire isn't gonna move but on the outside tire I'm assuming that we're doing a right hand turn so this is the tire on the passenger side that's going slower and the faster tire on the outside of the turn is on the driver's side okay and so the faster tire basically needs to move a little bit faster so what happens is it even though the inside tire continues to put pressure the outside tire sometimes will need to speed up and at the moment that it returns to this center position and that there is a little bit of of play then it allows it to sl snap like that to ratchet during that turn and this happens very quickly so as the outside tire speeds up and returns the pin to the center position it restores that little bit of play in, and the the springs can compress and allow the next notch so it ratchets the outside tire it's all a little bit difficult to understand and you got to think about it a little bit but if you understand how it works it makes it easier to drive um, you have to be more careful when turning corners especially when the road is wet or in conditions when um, you really don't want to spin both tires you might lose control of the car so that's all there is to